Welcome to Irons United and another transfer window special. This one's about a player that uh, we understand is leaving West Ham, was sold today. Um, Edmilson Fernandez, um, the player that uh, was out on loan to Fiorentina last season, uh, has apparently been sold to a German club Mainz in the Bundesliga. Um, bit of a surprise on this one because uh, I kind of thought that uh, Pellegrini would. Uh, maybe have a look at Fernandez in the close season, um, see what he could offer, see if he could uh, offer something in the team. But it seems that Pellegrini is wasting no time in shaping his squad up and uh, moving players that he just can't see being part of the future at West Ham. Um, Fernandez, he tw still 23 years of age, Swiss international. He signed for us back in the 16-17 season for just under five million. He made his debut in our 3-0 defeat at home to Southampton uh, on the 25th of September 2016. Uh, he came on as a sub, a late sub for Mark, for Mark Noble. Uh, a month later, he scored his first goal uh, for West Ham, an only goal really for West Ham, in our Repit Cup win at home against Chelsea, uh, where we beat them 2-1. Um, but however, in 42 games for West Ham, He's not scored in the league, um, and which resulted in him going out on loan to uh, Fiorentina last season. Um, I said a moment ago we sold him for about five million. It's apparently six to eight million. My mistake on that. Um, so a shame to see him go. I think, uh, judging by what uh, some of the social media comments, I think quite a lot of people are upset and. I, I can't quite see what that they are. I'm surprised, but I'm not necessarily upset. Um, it, to me, it kind of signifies that uh, Pellegrini has definitely got an attacking midfielder in mind that he's bringing in. And uh, the list of players that uh, we're linked with is, I mean, they go on and on. You know, Gomez, apparently we've made another £20 million offer, improved offer. Um, for his services, we've been linked to Camaraza, we've been linked to Kagawa, we've been linked to Fortunis, um, we've been linked to Brahimi. Um, I think out of all those players, I think the Fortunis um, transfer, I think, might be on still on the cards. Uh, the Gomez one, it seems that uh, Pellegrini is making it his priority to sign him. Um, and Brahimi, the only thing with Brahimi is that even though he's on a free transfer, um, he's asking for a five million pound signing on fee. So um, yes, it's a shame uh, that uh, Pellegrini hasn't necessarily given um, uh, an opportunity for uh, uh, for Fernandez to to show what he he's capable of. But maybe Pellegrini kind of saw enough, you know, in the lead up to him taking over West Ham. I mean. He loaned him out straight away, don't forget. Um, so uh, maybe he's been following his uh, progress at uh, Fiorentina and deciding that maybe um, he had, didn't do enough to prove to uh, uh, Pellegrini that uh, he, was, he was worthy of a spot. So um, surprise, but not upset. Um, we kind of wish him all the best uh, in, uh, moving, moving to the Bundesliga. Mainz is a mid-table team, um, so it's something that maybe he could, he's still young, he could maybe uh, continue to forge a, a career there. Um, other news, well there's another uh, transfer window special uh, coming up uh, by Ant uh, to talk about David Martin, our new uh, keeper signing, and I know a lot of people are surprised at that. I don't think that's a surprise either, a kind of good business sense, and I hope Ant will demonstrate why in his video. Uh, and, and another one that's just come up is uh, this, this, this news about uh, uh, we're going to keep our left backs, we're going to keep Creswell and Masuaku and they're going to fight it out. Uh, and yet hot on the tails of that, we're, we're then told that uh, we're interested in signing um, a Turkish left back, uh, Hassan Ali Kildirim, uh, who currently plays uh, in, uh, for Fenerbahce. Um, so I don't think that's all done and dusted yet. I, uh, you know, it's a lot of talk about. Well, we should keep Creswell. We should keep uh, Masuaku. They're both decent enough. I, I personally think that we do need an upgrade. I think that we actually need an upgrade on Masuaku, 
um, Creswell is the player I would keep. So this one's an interesting one that uh, we've just been linked with Al Qadirim. Uh, he's 29 years of age. He's actually a left wing back, which kind of doesn't suit the style of play that uh, um, Pellegrini usually plays, which is a flat back four. But uh, let's see what happens. So anyway, this was about um, Fernandez. We wish Fernandez well um, in the short sp in the short time that he was at West Ham. Um, hope he goes on to better things. Um, like I say, he's only 23 years of age. Um, but it looks like we're going, uh, making way, um, trying to get some money in for the players that Pellegrini really wants to sign. And as I said, you know, we've got a whole host of uh, midfielders that he's looking at. So let's look forward to finding out what happens next. Well, no sooner uh, having said that uh, this was only a video about Fernandez, we now find out that uh, Lucas Perez has completed his transfer to Alaves for an undisclosed fee. Uh, we were all led to believe that that fee is give or take uh, two and a half million pounds. Um, would have really liked to have made our money back on Perez, uh, at the very least sell him for, for the price that we bought him for, which was four million. Uh, but he's left, uh, another player gone, another player that uh, Pellegrini doesn't believe uh, is uh, part of the future at West Ham. You know, <laughs> uh, Pellegrini's doing the business as far as players going out is concerned. Um, so um, uh, it, it, why keep a player on and why, and why waste time? If you don't believe a player is, uh, is going to be uh, part of the future, then yeah, fair enough, move him on. Uh, we said we... Um, Bought Perez last uh, summer for four million off Arsenal. Um, he played in a total of uh, 19 matches for West Ham this season, 15 in the Premier League, uh, three in the League Cup, and one in the FA Cup. And he scored a total of six goals. So he scored three in the League, two in the League Cup, and one in the FA Cup. Um, so he was, uh, you know, for the amount of time he actually was on the pitch, he wasn't that bad, to be honest with you. Um, you know, 16 goals, uh, 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 sorry, uh, six goals uh, uh, out of uh, 19 appearances, mostly as a sub, um, wasn't, wasn't that bad a return. But clearly there was something wrong with Perez. I mean, he had an opportunity to make that striker spot his own. You know, we had issues with, uh, 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 as we all know, with Anatovic, with all the, the whole transfer saga. We had injuries to Anatovic and to, and to Hernandez, so Perez was kind of in, out, in, out of the team, you know, uh, but maybe he just didn't show the right attitude um, uh, to actually make uh, a, a Pellegrini believe that he was worthy of a regular starting spot. So he's gone. He's gone to Alaves. He's gone to Alaves for what we believe to be two and a half million, three million pounds. Um, yeah, he's a 30-year-old player, you know, so maybe we should be looking for a striker. If if we're going to get a striker in for a similar sort of uh, age, then someone who's more prolific, I guess, and someone who's really going to push uh, Anatovic uh, for that uh, starting spot because I actually believe that uh, Hernandez will soon be going as well. You know, I actually said uh, way back that uh, I wouldn't be surprised if all four strikers were to leave West Ham, but it's we're led to believe that Anatovic is going to stay. Um, so um, Perez going, Carroll being released. I think Hernandez will go. Um, we're, it's really we're really keen now to get a couple of strikers in. Uh, we are go we're going to have to buy a striker. I don't think we can afford to buy two. Um, and I reckon we're going to be looking at a sneaky little freebie, Balotelli. But you didn't hear that from me. Uh, so, Arrivederci, Perez, or Chao, or whatever they say in Spanish. <laughs> Neither of those words. Um, good luck in Spain. Uh, we wish you all the best. Thank you for your time at West Ham. And uh, let's, let, let's see what the next bit of news is going to be, shall we?